This video review is being brought to you by PrimeToys.net. PrimeToys.net, where you can get collector grade toys without the collector grade pricing. PrimeToys.net. And be sure to stick around to the end of this video review for not one, but two codes to use for great discounts at PrimeToys.net. And I'm a reviewer, so let the reviews be joined. Hey guys, your friend Donabot back yet again for another video review. And as you can see, we're going to look at Titans Returns Legends Class Wheelie. Wheelie will tell you a friend find look behind. Pretty cool little guy. It is a nice little homage to the G1 self. Um, he's again, he's a legend size, so he's small. He doesn't have his own little Titan Master character for him. <clears throat> Excuse me. But he's still not bad at all. He's got the same light orange and dark orange paint scheme that he did in the G1 series. Uh, he's got the, of course, silver paint and, you know, uh, excuse me, the black plastic wheels. He even got some more silver here on the sides and stuff. He's got some peg holes here. That if you want to put a weapon there, you could. Uh, it's mostly just for his hands and that, so you can put weapons in his hands as well. As you can see, though, the only problem I have with him, it's not a major one. He doesn't seem like he wants to, you can see the space in between them, it doesn't seem like he wants to stay pegged together really well. Uh, other than that, it's not a bad figure at all. I mean, other than this small issue of his, when he's in vehicle form, just not pegging in too well, it's, he's really good. But uh, before we get into his transformation, I want to show you a little thing here that they did this. You can take a Titan Returns figure, or Titan Master, excuse me, in this case, we're going to use little Apex here from Power Master Prime, which his review is upcoming. Uh, and we're going to put them in inside here. To do so, all you got to do is raise this part here, which is the, you know the main canopy. Then you want to slide this panel back as well, and see so you have the basically the compartment for the Titans Master in there. But one thing that I have seen a couple videos on, and I don't think this is really an issue, but if you look in there. You can see, right back in here, is Wheelie's head. And his face is basically the back part of the chair for the Titan Titan Master. Weird, but it's okay. I mean, it's not going to matter because you're not going to see it anyway. But but you take the little Apex or any of the Titan Master here, and you just kind of just slide them in. And see, you see what I mean about it not wanting to stay pegged together? He'll, he'll kind of wedge in and kind of fasten into place. Then all you gotta do is just close the canopy back up. And your Titan Master is nice and secure inside Wheelie. Not bad at all. I mean, it's pretty cool. He does roll, again, he rolls really well because of his wheels. But it, it's nice. It's really cool that you can, he's small enough, and, or I should say big enough on the inside, we can put a Titan Master in there. But we'll go ahead and open him back up and get uh, Apex out, just so we can get him out of the way for the transformation here which is being a legends class it's very very simple uh start off what we're going to do is going to first of course unpeg right here down here at the bottom this is going to be his legs and we'll when you once you unpeg this section out and you rotate these out you will go ahead and we'll flip this over to see this better you want to rotate this sec these sections here the wheels and the fender for the front end rotate them around back up out of the way this basically just clears that, and you can go ahead and fold these back as well. The front, basically the bumper, becomes basically into the kneecaps for the robot. You rotate, the, fully rotate the legs down. They're on a nice ball joint. Once you have these down, you can go ahead and rotate these seconds out of the way, and you hear that little click. That is actually it just pegging right in to place. We'll do it better on this side, as you can see there pretty cool that it does that it's a nice little extra feature next you want to go ahead and open these panels up the back here and the windshield you can then rotate here at the waist you can rotate this around to the back side like so and it kind of does rub and mine is real tight on this so it kind of is a little hard to get that rotated around next you'll fold this the 
this whole section back here is on a double hinge so you'll fold that down and it snaps right into place real good as well uh oh I'm missing something here I almost forgot that's what I was forgetting to do <laughs> had to remind myself about that before you do that you want to when you road dig fold this down and it locks you want to fold this panel down I almost forgot to do that you rotate that down and then just fold this down it covers up all that whole section there fold the windshield back up and you can see it's got two pegs here it's going to peg right into those peg holes and attach right like so you'll then rotate right here at the base of the elbow for the arms do the same here and last but not least we'll flip this over to the back you can rotate the head which I probably should have done this before and yeah I should have my bad we'll fold this back out and you rotate the head down and back first you want to do that first and foremost let's fold this back down locking that like that and you just rotate this like so and that's it straighten them up and here we have little wheelie in his robot mode pretty cool he, he, he looks really good in his robot form once you got them all straightened out, which I still don't quite have them, I actually kind of like to fold these panels back just a little bit, just to give it that little bit of look to it. It kind of instructions kind of show for it to be like so, but I think it looks better this way. It doesn't really affect the bend of the knee at all, but it does look better. Uh, rotate or excuse me, articulation-wise, his head is on a little bit of a swivel. It can swivel around. Though, the way the plastic back here does kind of hinder his look and stuff, and it does feel like it rubs it a little bit. You do have the ball joint for the elbow, or excuse me, the, the shoulder, which rotates like so. You have the swivel, of course, there for the elbow. Though it is hindered a lot due to the big wheel and the big pieces here for the back of the forearm. The, it does have, the, of course, this swivel here in the hip. It's, but mine is very very tight so please be aware of that I don't know if all of them are like that he does have the swivel here on a ball joint there and the swivel in the knee he has no feet articulation but that's all fine he's a legends class he's not gonna have a whole lot but he's still it's pretty cool I do I do like this guy I mean he is really really neat as you can see comparing him to apex here in size he does look pretty good for size comparison. I actually think you could be, if you wanted to, you could set him on top of your Masterpiece Grimlock, and he would look really good for that G1 uh, movie style. But that being said, this is just a quick video on Wheelie, and I highly recommend you guys picking this guy up. He is pretty cool. He does have a little bit of pegging issue for vehicle mode, but eh, more, most people aren't going to really display him in vehicle. I think they're going to have more displayed in robot form. Also, I do like the, before I forget, I do like how clear this windshield is and the fact that it's got the nice insignia there. Really blends well with the plastic. But that being said, guys, this is going to be in for this video review. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share this video. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. And don't forget to check out primetoys.net where you can get collector grade toys without the collector grade pricing. And sadly, this is the Hasbro version of Wheelie. You cannot pick up the Hasbro, but you can get the Takara version. It is on pre-order, so definitely check that out on primetoys.net. And also, during this month of September, there are currently two codes you can use. Till the end of this month, you have one code uh, that you can use. you got another one you can use any time. But the, the code during September, till the end of this month, if you type in the code TRANSMISSIONS30, that's TRANSMISSIONS30, you can get 30% off your order of all, in, in, any, anything in the in store. Uh, that's in stock though. Uh, you go in, you can get anything that he has in stock, 
get 30% off of it. Great deal on that. Also, don't forget to use the regular code of transmissions at checkout to get just 10% off your order. Now, you cannot use both codes at the same time, so please don't forget that. But that being said, guys, also check out the Transmissions Podcast, who is also sponsored by Prime Toys and helped us get those great codes. But that being said, lastly, guys, this is Dom saying thanks for watching, and I hope to hear from you soon.